In this video, we'll be looking at an Incoterms case study titled Why Should You Be Careful When You're Using FOB? This is an animation video of a case study taken from the book An International Banker's Insight on Incoterms Rules written by Roy Becker. A grain exporter in Minnesota, US had a contract to export grains. The importer in Vancouver, Canada required an inspection certificate signed by a USDA, US Department of Agricultural official. The certificate had to be issued within 14 days of the date of export. Now, the exporter had agreed to the INCO terms FOB Vancouver. The initial plan was to send the goods via truck to from Minnesota to Vancouver and subsequently the goods will be transported to the overseas buyer via ship. Now the container was delivered to the container yard in Vancouver. Now during the loading process, the container was damaged and the carrier had refused to load it on board. So the container was actually stored on a pier depending a resolution on the damage. In the meantime, time was ticking regarding the inspection certificate and eventually 14 days lapsed and a new certificate of inspection would be required to permit the goods to be exported. However, no USDA official agreed to make a trip to Vancouver for a new inspection and the exporter was left to figure out how to return the damaged container and contents back to Minnesota at their own expense. Now, why is that? The Incoterms rule states that the exporter must fulfill their delivery responsibilities when the goods are loaded on board the vessel. In this case, the exporter had no control over the container once delivered to the container yard. However, he was liable for the damage. In this case, what could the exporter have done to mitigate their risk in this case? Well, the exporter should have used FCA Vancouver. If they chose FCA, they would have fulfilled their responsibility once the container was delivered to the container yard, and they would not be liable for the damage incurred while the container was out of their control. If you enjoy watching this video, click like, subscribe, and also leave us a comment in the comment section below. And if you'd like to receive further information, visit our website www.tradelinks.com.my for further information on letter of credit, incur terms, and bills of lading.